Good Tuesday, everyone. Looking at our daily weather map for today, we see a big storm system up around the Great Lakes, producing all kinds of freezing rain, sleet, and snow for those folks. Farther south, we're just getting the rain showers from that system, and those will be moving out this morning. Then farther to the west, you see our next big storm system wrapping up and about to move in. Look at our five-day forecast, just a chance for showers this morning and then mostly cloudy skies the rest of the day. may see a peak or two of sun by this afternoon and evening. And then Wednesday, a chance of shower starts coming back in after the noon hour, especially as we get closer to sunset. And then those rain showers increase Wednesday night. Winds pick up, could even have some strong storms. We'll be weather aware Wednesday night. Lows only in the low to mid 50s, it looks like. And check out those mild temperatures. 60 today, 60 tomorrow, 60 on Thursday. I mean, is this January? <laughs> Normal high is 44 degrees. Showers move out Thursday morning, and then that leaves us with some possibly partly cloudy skies by afternoon. I'll keep an eye on that. We certainly do um, clear off a bit by that night and drop down to 33 degrees. And then Friday and Saturday, closer to seasonal normals for highs, that is for sure, with some sunshine. Showers look to be moving back in by Saturday night. The Storm Prediction Center has included our area now in the marginal risk for severe weather for Wednesday night. This is the lowest of the five severe weather risk categories, and we are on the very eastern edge of that risk. The greater threat will be out across West Tennessee, down into Mississippi, Louisiana, and eastern Arkansas. So I'll keep an eye on things. Right now, it's not looking like too big of a deal. I'm not raising too many red flags just yet, but I will certainly keep an eye on it. On this day in 1999, a very serious severe weather outbreak struck Tennessee. Um, this one was in, this particular storm was in Columbia. Uh, glass shattered at a mall, uh, lots of trees uprooted, $400,000 to the Pepsi Cola plant. I mean, all kinds of damage done. And in, even farther to the west, I mean, Jackson, Tennessee, they had an EF4 tornado move through their neck of the woods and did all kinds of damage. But this day also produced the largest known hail ever to fall in Tennessee. So a very active severe weather day on this day in 1999. Well, you folks have a wonderful Tuesday and keep looking up for even more weather information, including some more graphics on my thoughts on the severe weather potential. Just keep reading along in that blog, meteorologistmark.com.